we got to understand that hip hop is not part of rap. Rap is part of hip hop culture. Before we had written words, we had the oral word. We had traditions. We had reacts. We had only things. Uh, uh, uh.
Um, what can the elders of hip hop do uh, in terms of uniting the generations within this within our own country here in the United States? What do you see as the role of a hip hop elder? A lot of us do media and watching televisions, that's what I said, televising vision. Because if they was telling the truth, they wouldn't make a program called Real TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the question is like, we got to keep organizing, like Brother Kwame Choi would say, organize, organize, organize. Well, if you didn't got together and put your money together and put your resources together, and bought the store down the block or bought the laundry mat. Now you can't complain when other races or other nationalities come and take what you should have did yourself. But the things that we got to start teaching in hip hop culture, not just worrying about what a rapper eat or who got the best shoes or, or the blue cameras here, everybody in the mother would pack this house to see little kids right. run down and shake their booty. You know, we got to let them know what hip hop could do as a movement. That's why we made the Universal Nation a hip hop international movement. And what hip hop could do for you instead of just using rap records or graffiti or DJing and, and, and aerosol records. So we got to wake up and organize our culture as a movement for it to do something to better life for us as a people. After the Rabada said, the little camp was here, this room would be packed, knew it would be packed. Mm -hmm. If Jay Z was here, showing his gold chain and his white t-shirt, this entire building would be packed. If Nori was here and talked about a drug-induced coma or, or a Jada Kiss or any of these people, this room would be packed. The whole building would be packed. Why is that? Karis asked the question, why is that? Now, I'd rather be here with a few of you who are here for hunger and knowledge and wisdom than to be here with an entire building where we have to put it on big loudspeakers and all. Because that, that, those are people that just want to see. They don't want to hear. And I hope that you're all here to hear. Well, basically, um, I'm a person that's been researching because I take from the knowledge that I have learned from great teachers like the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, um, Dr. Malachi Z. York, and listening to people like Slime, Family Stone, John Lennon, all the groups in the 60s that was fighting those struggles, and, and um, James Brown say a lot of black in the crowd, the Woodstock era, the Young Laws, the, the, the Black Panther Party. And so we got to always get back and research ourselves. Don't take what I say or Ernie say, or what your teacher or your rabbi or your imam or your preachers say, go and research the things. Use common sense. So we got to start going back using our mind thinking, because we are so caught up in technology. Ain't nothing wrong if it's something out the better life is good. But I don't want to go into a bank and I need my money. I say, I need my money. Can I have my money? Oh, the computers is down. Well, get your ass and do some human things, mathematics, right now, and give me my money. So I'm just saying that, go back and start using this again. Don't get so lazy sometimes. Get your ass up and change the channel yourself. True. Get up and pull your shade up, because they get ready to make the things in, in Japan. They already have to, you don't have to get up. Just let me pull the shade up. It's just already. You know, get up and start doing human things again. And remember, what you thought was a fantasy it's becoming your reality, and what you think is your reality is becoming your virtuality. So check it out. Look, it is Every time I hear you talk, man, it makes me feel good. It makes me want to do better, you know what I'm saying? And. You know, and, and, and we're cats that if you don't, if you don't take, lead, follow, and tell us to get out of the way, then they will continue to kick you know, everything down what you created in vain. You know, I'll be damned if I let that happen. I'll be damned.